Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain you about direct manipulation. So first of all, like what is this direct manipulation? So in the previous video, I have explained you all about uh, graphical user interface. Like I said, it is an interface uh, which helps users to communicate with the electronic device. So we said like it's okay, we are communicating, but there are different styles of communication. That means there are different styles of interaction. Uh, like how a user can uh, communicate uh, uh, with a system so in that like we have like question and answer type uh, pick and click and uh, this direct manipulation is one of the interaction style so this dm here this is a direct manipulation is one of the interaction style in which the users act on the displayed objects that means whatever the objects which are displayed on the screen they interact with those things and they get uh, through which they get uh, immediate feedbacks so for example, I will give you an example like uh, say suppose like we can uh, zoom in or zoom out, zoom out an image that means like on the screen you can see a thing that means an image that is like an object and the action what you are doing is like zoom in or zoom out and you can find out the immediate results right. So this is direct manipulation that means you are able to see the result immediately. So the three components of this direct manipulation are objects, actions and visible results. So and the important characteristics of this uh, direct manipulation is like it is the extension of the real world that means whatever you are seeing in the real world that is directly represented uh, uh, as a screen that means uh, as a 3d object on the screen and it is like a continuous visibility of objects and actions that means like uh, say suppose le let's take our laptops as an example like uh, when we click a, a google chrome icon immediately you are navigated to that google web page and there you can see some actions going on like whenever you click on gmail then your gmail is open you click on inbox and all the emails in that inbox are open that means it is like continuous visibility of ob objects and the actions objects here in the sense like whatever you can see on the screen actions what you are performing like i'm clicking on the gmail uh, tab then on the inbox tab like this and then these actions are rapid and incremental with visible results yes right like if we, we are able to see the results immediately instantaneously we are able to see the results and the final one is the incremental actions are easily reversible so that means you have navigated through like a uh, google chrome then gmail then inbox and this back steps can, are also possible that means it is reversible hope these four points are uh, very important uh, for the semester exams these uh, four characteristics that means extension of real world continuous visibility of objects and actions and rapid uh, actions are rapid and incremental with visible results and these uh, these actions can be reversible and coming to the drawbacks of this uh, direct manipulation that is like uh, the operation sometimes may be difficult to conceptualize that means as the results are very sp uh, spontaneous sometimes we may not uh, immediately uh, catch those like how it is going on how the operation is going on so the concept uh, operations may not be concept conceptualized and sometimes the capability of the system may be limited and it is difficult for people to um, learn and remember all the necessary uh, operations and actions. So these three are the drawbacks. So because of these drawbacks, indirect manipulation has came into existence. So I, I want to represent this direct manipulation as a simple uh, diagram. See here like a uh, user, he can directly interact with the system and he will immediately get the results. So this is, he is directly interacting with the system. This is what direct manip manipulation and coming to indi indirect manipulation here, he will be getting two different feedbacks. That means the user is not directly interacting with the uh, system. That means there will be some interface in between. So because of th this reason, like uh, whatever the drawbacks, like conceptualizing all these things, they are overcome in this indirect manipulation. Yeah, thank you and stay tuned to our channel. We will be uploading more videos of this HCR subject. Thank you.